babes, welcome back. I hope you're all so well. So in today's video, we are going to have a bit of a chat, okay? I think this is going to be a very important video. I think it's something that we need to talk about because it's absolutely wild. So two videos ago, I touched a little bit on the fact that the pre-love market right now is absolutely insane in terms of pricing. So I wanted to do a follow-up video on that. So many of you were interested and um, I just felt like it was necessary. So that's what we're going to be doing in today's video we're going to talk about the pre-love market and what the f is going on because this shit is absolutely insane i got my bone broth here so grab yourself something to drink and let's just get right into it okay so it's no secret that the pre-love market right now like prices are absolutely outrageous i feel like they've always been a bit outrageous but right now it's just it's just beyond ridiculous, okay? Um, so yesterday, I sat down and I did so much research, okay? Because obviously, when I get, like, do these kinds of videos for you guys, like, I want to make sure that I know what the hell I'm talking about. So, um, obviously, I already thought I knew, but I wanted to do some more research and just dive a little deeper into that whole situation. I checked tons of different resale um, websites, uh, pre-loved, you know, boutiques and stuff like that. One thing that I noticed, and I want to say that right away is um, if you do buy pre-loved, I would recommend to probably go with something like a smaller boutique, like something that's like small, a small business that's not super huge right now because those prices are still okay. But if we're starting to look at places like the fashion file, what goes around comes around, treasures of NYC, the real real, all those places, I feel like the prices on even just basic items are absolutely insane. And you guys obviously like let me know how you feel about this. I know I can come off a little strong sometimes, especially when I feel strongly about something. That's just the German in me, okay? Um, but yeah, like let me know how you guys feel about this. What have you noticed? What do you think about the whole situation? Do you even think it's still worth buying pre-loved right now? I'm going to tell you guys what I think. So number one, for me, I think if you're looking for a vintage item, something that's super, super hard to get or that you can't even get anymore in the store um, that's really old and almost like a collector's item, okay? Then I say go for it. I say go for it even if it's outrageously priced. You know, if it's something that you're aware of that you're gonna spend more than it than it was years ago. Um, other than that, I'd say make sure to check with your SAs. I don't care if it's Dior, YSL, um, Louis, whatever. Make sure to check with your SAs first and see if they have the item available. So many people make the dis mistake, me including, I did that with my uh, Pochette Matisse, the first one that I had. I um, saw that it was unavailable at the boutique and so I just immediately went to the pre-love market and spent so much more money than I should have. So I'm gonna get my little, my little ideas book. I love this book so much, like all my stuff um, I write in here and something, I'm, I'm doing something really fun that I've been working on for a very, very long time so uh, all of my ideas about that are in here as well. But anyways, I, like I said, did some research and I wrote every single freaking thing down that I thought was insane. So let's start off with the Pochette Matisse, okay? And I had to write this down because there's no way I can remember all these prices. So let's start with the Pochette Matisse. So new right now, the Pochette Matisse on the website is $2,050. Obviously, you're going to add a little bit of sales tax on, depending on where you live, you know, I don't know how much that's going to be. Now, you can buy it pre-loved, the same exact bag that somebody has already freaking used for $2,315. That was one of the lowest prices that I found, okay? The lowest prices that I found. I mean, what in the actual hell is even going on? So you might as well just buy it new. So again, I think they're playing on the fact that people think it's not available. Oh my God, I got a hair and it's driving me crazy. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, because a lot of the times that bag will say it's not available on the website. Anyways, I don't want to make this too long. Let's move on. The toiletry pouch. Now, we know it's now discontinued. So, the toiletry pouch new was, I say was because it's not available anymore, um, but still check with your SA. Some of them might still have some in boutiques. Um, $540, and then you add some tax. They are charging between six and nine hundred dollars on the pre love market, and since it's now been discontinued, I guarantee you the prices have skyrocketed. 
I feel like if something has been discontinued, I can maybe understand why they would price something higher. But with the Pochette Matisse, like it's not a discontinued bag. Like what is even going on? Okay, moving on. Let's talk about the Neverfull. And this one really freaking blew my mind. Like it blew my mind. So the Neverfull new is $1,540, okay? I have found it on three different websites. The cheapest used. Now remember, these are all used. Some of them good condition, some not so not so much, but it doesn't matter. They're used. They're not new from the boutique. The cheapest price I found on it on the pre-love market was $1,220. Then I found one for $1,570, now we're already above new price, and the highest I found for the never full was $2,055. I literally almost choked on my coffee. Like what, what are, what's, like that is a total rip off. Like we are ripping people off. It is insane. People do your research because I just, I can't. The never full, like I cannot. Let's talk about the speedy, another one that absolutely blew my mind. Now this is, again, you can still buy this from the Louis store. Please contact your SAs. Um, so the Speedy 25, uh, new 1,170, pre-owned, somebody's already used it. Um, we're looking at $1,130. That's the cheapest I found. Uh, and that wasn't even that great condition. Now let me just say, I do understand that these bags are meant to hold their value, right? Like you want to be able to resell them and get some of your money back. And some of them you even want to be able to resell them and make some money on. However, these bags that we are, or they are charging so much more for, or almost the same as new, I, I don't see the reasoning. Like why? Why are they charging more for these bags than they should? I think simply it's because they can and because people don't educate themselves and they just buy. You know, like they they think, oh, uh, I will get a better price on the pre-left market. You know what I mean? Like they just assume that and so they don't even double check. Like no, like a lot of the times nowadays you do not unless you go with a smaller boutique, um, something private owned, something that's just not insanely huge and they will still give you fair prices. But even then I would pay attention. Now there was one more I wanted to talk about, two more actually. Let's talk about Chanel. Um, so, Obviously, this goes for all luxury bags. It's not just Louis and Chanel. These are just the ones that I've written down from when I was doing my research. So the Chanel, I found a blue denim half flap. Now, this is probably something that's discontinued, um, but that was around $9,000. When you can buy a mini flap in maybe a different color for $3,800, new from the Chanel website. So, you know, unless you're really a collector, at this point, I would really be like, hmm, do I really need it to be denim blue and spend 10 grand? Or do I just save a hell of a lot of money, get a brand new Chanel bag with the experience from the boutique with all its original packaging, uh, just maybe in a different color because there are lots of different colors to choose from. So you guys get the idea. I just feel like right now it's absolutely insane. And again, I would love, love, love to know how you guys feel about it. Like I said, I really think they're doing this because they've realized that they can, uh, which is really unfortunate. So I think we need to talk about this more so that, um, you know, people are aware like hey make sure to check the new price make sure to check with your SA make sure to check other websites because this shit is just insane I just I'm not a fan of it I don't like like again if I'm gonna spend that much money and I'm only $50 shy of new, then I might as well buy it new. You know what I mean? Um, anyways, let me know if you guys agree with me. Let me know how you feel about this. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.